This is my AT&T PubNub environmental monitor station. It's a highly scalable, portable um, platform that you can put sensors on. Obviously this one is battery powered and solar charged. Um, we have weather data and also some uh, gas detector sensor on here. This guy can detect uh, things like ammonia, uh, methane, uh, hydrocarbons, benzene, other harmful gases. Since it has the uh, AT&T uh, LTE board in there, um, you can get connection just about anywhere. So just drop this thing wherever it's needed, in the city, in the country, near industry. It should just work. And the other cool thing about it is um, this is fairly affordable for maybe a couple hundred bucks. You can put this together. At scale, you could probably get the price down even further. Since we're just sending sensor data, maybe every 30 minutes or hour, you know, you don't have to be transmitting constantly. This thing is just sipping on data. So maybe 100 kilobytes of data per day. So um, you could have a fleet of uh, 10 of these guys and easily get by with, you know, a gig or less of data per month. And a gig of this uh, particular type of data is only about 25 bucks. So. Um, pretty cool platform. So we've got solar panel. This is a weather station. Wind direction, speed, and rain. Of course battery power. This is solar charger to charge the battery. Um, and then all the electronics is right here. We have a microcontroller, the cell cellular shield, and then this board up here is for prototyping. This is an MQ-135 uh, hazardous uh, gas detector sensor. This little sensor was only like two or three dollars. So they have other sensors out there. Since it's hard to see screens outside in the broad daylight, I'm gonna do a little demo in here in the relative darkness. So keep an eye on air quality. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it a shot of butane here. See how it likes it. That shot up pretty quickly. See that our alarm came on here. Now let's go ahead and try some uh, difluoroethane. There we go. So here's how this works. The AT&T IoT starter kit is as a microcontroller and the cellular connectivity. Um, it's connected to hardware and sensors and it pushes the data. You can, you can push it to, to AT&T Flow and M2X, do some processing and storage. You can also publish it straight to PubNub. Um, once it's in PubNub though, there's lots and lots of different things that um, can attach to it and um, you can put it into dashboards, databases, connect it to just about anything. I'm going to have about five or six other videos uh, showing the different parts and pieces and how you can build one of these yourself.